you have no idea how special you are. Uh, and God thinks so much of you that he sent his son so that none should perish but all come to eternal life. I'm reminded now again, yesterday we spoke on the foundation of it, which is the word of God. Uh, if you know the word of God, you can resist the enemy. But now an, another tool, another step up the ladder is that you need to know in whose authority you are operating and who you are in Christ. You see, God has called us and made us righteous in the sight of God. The word righteous actually means to be right aligned in, in right standing with God. Now, we could never have achieved that without a price being paid for us. But now that you have, you've gone through the process of standing in self, uh, coming out the domain of the enemy into a new domain. Listen to what the word of God says in Colossians 1.13 to us. He says, for he has rescued us from the domain of darkness. God is no man that he would lie. If he says you're out, you're out. Listen, it goes on by saying, and transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved son, in whom we have redemption and forgiveness of sin. You see, the, the main tool the enemy uses is to uh, have us to go on a, a guilt trip, to say, who are you really? Well, you can now make a, pro a decree into the heavenlies. You can proclaim now that you stand in the authority of being brought out of the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light. Listen, you do not need to uh, have fear for the enemy anymore. He's been overcome. But you need to equip yourself, however. And this is part of it. Once you know the word of God, you resist him. But if you know that you are honestly redeemed, you've been bought free from the kingdom of darkness, every time the enemy brings fear, you make a declaration. You say, the uniform I have on is the banner of God. And because I have his banner on, I can overcome all things. You have no authority over me anymore. You, we can begin to rise up in the power and the authority that God has now given us. But let's have a look at another scripture to encourage you in 1 Corinthians 6 verse 20. He says, For you have been bought with a price, with the blood of the Lamb. Therefore glorify God in your body. Now if God expects us to be glorifying Him in our body, living a, a lifestyle that uh, befits a child of God, because you've been bought free. I want to say this to you. You have authority way beyond what you might realize this day. You have the power and the ability to stand in the authority of God. To proclaim to the enemy, go away from behind me. You have no hold on me anymore. You see, all we need to do is to tell him that he has no legal right over me. I belong to a different kingdom. And then we need to start to live according to the rules of that new kingdom. But the thing I want to infuse into you today, according to the word of God, he says that you are now righteous in right standing. So when the enemy takes you on a guilt trip, when he wants to belittle you, you make this declaration, I am a child of God, been bought free by the blood of the Lamb. I have the authority to stand against what you say. Remind the enemy what the word of God says. I have submitted myself to the kingdom of God and therefore I can resist and you will flee from me. What a wonderful opportunity we have to proclaim this into the spiritual. Time is a constraint. But listen, do your home study. Receive what God has for you and see how miraculous your life will turn out to be. God bless.